Advertising on Amazon is getting pricier, making it trickier to figure out the right amount to spend. If you spend too much, you might not make a profit. On the other hand, spending too little can make your brand get lost among all the sellers out there. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patel, product evangelist at SellerApp and today I'll talk about how much you should be spending on Amazon PPC advertising. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Seller App so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. Let's get started. Determining the right amount to spend on Amazon PPC can be tough for most marketers. It's not a fixed amount and is difficult to predict due to various factors and trends. Sometimes, tempting opportunities make you increase your bids without considering if it fits your budget. Even if you set a daily spend limit, your overall spending can still vary based on your goals. However, this uncertainty shouldn't discourage you from using the Amazon PPC. Similar to other investments, the potential benefits of your Amazon business are vast. You have many opportunities for success. Now, how can you set a daily budget and distribute it among different PPC ad options? Is it possible to be flexible with your Amazon PPC spending without hurting your profits? Let's find out. Many new sellers overlook the advertising costs when evaluating their profitability on Amazon. While they consider FBA fees, shipping costs, and unit capital, they often miss factoring in advertising expenses. Some assume that merely being on the world's largest e-commerce platform is enough advertisement. However, Due to the growing competition, advertising has become crucial. Consequently, you need to consider the associated fees. Understanding the pricing of Amazon ads is important for accurately allocating the overhead to your products to stay profitable. Now, this knowledge allows you to estimate bid prices more precisely and set realistic budgets for your Amazon PPC campaigns. To understand the costs, Let's delve into how the auction system in PPC works. Imagine there are five bidders for the same keyword. The bidder with the highest bid, let's call them seller one, uh, secures the top spot in the sponsored products list. Now in the second price auction, seller one pays $0.01 more than seller two's bid per click. Amazon uses a version of the second price auction that also considers uh, the keyword relevance. Therefore, the actual price you pay can be either one cent more than the second highest bid or your full bid amount. The second place seller, seller 2, pays between $0.01 more than seller 3's bid and their own bid amount uh, per click and so on. The charged amount is the cost per click for every click the ad receives. Now, this is why uh, setting the budget amounts is uh, crucial as it informs the Amazon about your daily spending limit. Now, the next question is, are there any hidden fees with Amazon PPC? Apart from the cost per click, you won't be charged for anything else to run your PPC campaign on Amazon. Impressions and views are free and there are no hosting or transaction fees. Amazon's ad fees are clear, making it easier for you to estimate you, you know, how much you'll be paying for your ads. There are different ways to advertise on Amazon using the PPC system. If you haven't registered a brand in the Amazon brand registry, you can use the sponsored products. Registering a brand opens up options for sponsored brands and sponsored displays. Based on the experiences of uh, you know, many Amazon sellers and current trends, a recommended budget allocation is as follows. Uh, the sponsored products are 75%, sponsored brands 20%, and sponsored display 5%. Now, sponsored products are more accessible for sellers, leading to greater competition. So if you are selling popular products with a lot of competition, 
be prepared to invest more for a winning bid. Having this initial budget allocation can kickstart uh, your PPC campaigns. You can adjust it as your goals change or based on the performance of uh, you know, each campaign. In your previous discussion, uh, we covered how to uh, win an auction by setting a bid price. Now, it's important to note that the bid price and the actual cost you pay per click may not be the same. You are likely to pay less than your winning bid uh, price per click, especially if your target keyword is highly relevant and your ad campaign has a good performance history. If you have set dynamic bidding in the campaign dashboard, Amazon can automatically adjust the bids, lowering them based on uh, the likelihood of the conversion, guided by your current performance data and the algorithm. So to find out the actual amount you pay for each click, you need to calculate the CPC uh, or it is also called as cost per click, which goes as total ad spend divided by total number of clicks. Now you're aware of two factors influencing your Amazon PPC spend, the cost per click and the budget spend allocation. That is 75% for sponsored products, 20% for sponsored brands and 5% for sponsored displays. There's more to learn about uh, you know, managing your Amazon PPC ad spend. It is crucial to set a budget for your Amazon PPC campaigns to uh, ensure you spend wisely without sacrificing your profitability. However, optimizing your budget allows for flexible spending, promoting the business growth and seizing uh, good opportunities. So the cost per click can vary typically ranging from $0.02 to $3 for many products and keywords. Considerations such as keyword competition, your target ACoS and your revenue play a role in determining the appropriate amount to spend without compromising too much profit. So total advertising cost of sales, uh, ACoS measures the average cost of a sale concerning your advertising spend for a specific campaign or ad. For example, if you spend $100 on ads in a campaign and generate 10 sales, your ACoS is $10. TACOS is a broader metric evaluating the overall impact of advertising on your business. So TACOS is equal to total ad spend divided by total generated sales. For beginners, aiming for a 30 to 35% ACoS is recommended. This means spending your 30 to 35% of your revenue on ads. Now consider your product category and find a reasonable ACoS to stay competitive without hurting your profitability. Click-through rate, this is another crucial metric which calculates how often your ads uh, were displayed uh, versus the number of clicks it received. So CTR goes as impressions divided by clicks. So checking your CTR is crucial in your campaigns. It helps you understand how many people see your ad and how many are interested enough to click on it. An average CTR of 0.5% is considered good, while 0.3% is acceptable. If you achieve a CTR between 2 to 3%, it's a big achievement, showing that your Amazon PPC campaign is doing exceptionally well. If your CTR is below what's acceptable, uh, it could signal a problem with relevance or the position of your ad. Now, why is CTR important when deciding on uh, your Amazon PPC spending? Well, it's a key metric that reflects the impact of your efforts. If your CDR is low, you might need to adjust your spending during the whole bidding process to secure a better ad placement or win more relevant keywords. Now, what is a daily budget in Amazon PPC? Well, in Amazon PPC, you can set a limit on how much you spend each day for your campaigns. You do this by filling in the daily budget fill. Uh, to set it up, you can take your estimated advertising budget, usually around 30% uh, of your expected revenue, and divide it evenly among the 30 or 31 days of the month. As your sales increase, you have the flexibility to raise your daily budget. Now, why is it important to set an Amazon PPC daily budget? Having a daily budget helps you uh, manage your total advertising budget more effectively. It ensures that your budget is spread out evenly over the days. There are additional benefits to setting a daily budget, avoiding overspending. 
Clicks can happen at any time during the day and if you set a daily budget, your ad will automatically stop showing when that limit is reached. This prevents you from going over your budget. Next is systematic budget allocation. Allocating and sticking to a budget gives you better control over uh, your overall ad spending. It also helps you make uh, more accurate predictions uh, about your profits and the growth. Easy adjustments. Working with a fixed budget makes it simpler to make adjustments as needed. This flexibility allows you to maximize your return on investment based on your goals and other factors influencing your budget spending. Now moving on to the Amazon PPC budget options, well here's a simple and practical rule. In the beginning, it's good to allocate no more than 30 to 35 percent of your revenue as your total advertising budget. Once you have figured out the budget, uh, you can then decide how much to allocate for each of the ad campaigns uh, you want to run. So on a basic level, uh, you can also set an average daily budget to better control your spending. Next is fixed daily account budget. Now in Amazon PPC, you have the option to set an average daily budget. For example, let's say you set a $10 uh, daily cap budget. Once the number of clicks multiplied by the bid price reaches this limit, your ad stops showing. If you don't use the entire daily budget, you can carry over the unused amount to the next day. Average daily budget for individual campaigns. You can also establish a fixed budget for each campaign. This gives you a more defined starting point for your budget. You can distribute it evenly across all of your campaigns or customize budgets for each based on their growth potential or profitability. We have talked about different important metrics and calculations to think about when figuring out your PPC budget. Now let's go through the steps to effectively allocate your PPC budget to your campaigns. Step 1. Identify your ACoS. You already know about ACoS and how to uh, you know, calculate it based on your revenue and the total sales. Use this information to uh, determine how much you can spend on your advertising. Once you have factored in the unit costs and Amazon fees like FBA fees and shipping fees, your profit is what's left. Keep in mind your break-even A cost which is equal to your profit. Going beyond this point means your product becomes unprofitable. Aim for your target A cost which is your break-even A cost minus your desired profit margin. For example, if your overhead is 40% on top of your product cost, and you aim for a 10% profit margin, the remaining 30% can be used for advertising. If an opportunity arises and you need to increase your ad spend for more sales, you can go beyond 30% but avoid exceeding 40%. However, assigning your ACoS and profit margin isn't something you can just decide on arbitrarily. You can also uh, you know, need to consider how your competitors are setting their prices and follow economic principles. According to Amazon best practices, an ACoS of 30 to 35% is considered an average. A lower ACoS means your campaign is highly profitable while a higher one indicates you are spending a lot without getting enough conversions, resulting in losses. Step 2. Check your cost per click. At first glance, a lower CPC might seem good because it means spending less money However, on Amazon, it's crucial to ensure that your CPC aligns with the average values in your category and among your fellow sellers. Now, this is important because an extremely low CPC could be a sign of a very few ad impressions. Different product categories and ad campaigns have varying average CPCs. Sponsor products generally have higher CPCs due to increased competition. If your average CPC is higher than your competitors, you might be overspending or not using your budget efficiently. On the other hand, having a lower CPC might mean you are less competitive, missing out on potential uh, opportunities like impressions, clicks and sales. Step 3. Determine your campaign duration. Deciding how long to run your campaign helps you assess its performance over time. It's 
allows you to uh, you know evaluate your initial budget uh, whether it is sufficient to make the most of your opportunities with Amazon PPC and plan your next steps accordingly. Amazon PPC campaigns are designed to run continuously 24-7 and become more effective as they gather more historical performance data. Unless you run out of budget, it's generally advised not to pause your campaign for an extended period to avoid uh, losing the momentum and potential success. Step 4. Pick your keywords wisely. Uh, keywords are crucial for your Amazon PPC campaigns. They are how most shoppers connect with the Amazon platform and the ads on it. When selecting keywords, focus on relevance and consider your budget as well. Now, tools like SellerApp uh, can assist you in finding the best keywords for your niche, target market and the algorithm uh, requirements. It is also a good idea to continue with your SEO efforts alongside PPC to build a strong foundation for organic ranking. This keeps you relevant to both the algorithm and your human customers. To determine the optimal bid, you need to uh, research and analyze the keywords. So here's a breakdown. General keywords which shoppers use broadly in search boxes are you know, highly competitive, affecting uh, their bid price. The more competitive the keyword, the higher your bid should be to win it. On the other hand, long tail keywords may be more relevant uh, but are less competitive, making them cheaper to bid for. So with SellerApp's keyword research tool, you can efficiently choose the keywords for your campaign, saving you time and efforts. Your selection of keywords will impact the starting bid for your ads. So Amazon continues to be a major player in the online shopping changing the way the people shop comfortably uh, from their homes. This has attracted both the eager shoppers with a strong intent to buy and the sellers who are becoming more competitive than ever. As a result, sellers should be prepared to invest more in Amazon advertising, including the Amazon PPC to gain visibility, traction and sales for uh, you know, sustained success. That's where SellerApp comes in with a comprehensive solution to assist you in planning, tracking, and optimizing your PPC spending. With SellerApp, you can set your PPC goals and budget based on your product category, profit margin, and target ACOS. Monitor your PPC performance across various metrics like impressions, clicks, conversions, sales, and ACOS. Analyze your keyword performance to identify the best performing and underperforming keywords. Optimize your bids and keywords using the data-driven recommendations and the automation rules. Generate detailed reports and insights to measure your PPC ROI and discover areas for the improvement. Moreover, SellerApp has PPC experts to uh, you know, help you uh, set up the Amazon PPC campaigns for maximum profits. We have already assisted big brands like Philips and Coca-Cola along with over 20,000 other brands in creating profitable advertising strategies and we can do the same for you. So if you need help getting started on optimizing your Amazon PPC, don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at salarab.com. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. So if you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to SellerApp. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. And as always, happy selling!